Let's make an R2-D2 Collier print. All you're going to need is some cardboard like a cereal box, glue, scissors, aluminum foil, and markers. Begin by cutting apart the cereal box so you have a nice, flat piece of cardboard to work with. Then, let's start with the top of R2's head. It's a semicircle, and then the bottom is a rectangle. Draw nice and big, and then go ahead and cut it out. Any pieces that you cut out, save those for knobs or lights or switches that are on R2. Once you have some of your pieces cut out, you can work on your composition or your placement of things. I'm also using a piece of cardboard like a cereal box thickness underneath R2. Begin by placing your shapes out. Really, he's just made up of a series of geometric shapes. A dome shape for the head, two dome shapes that are smaller, for his little wheels, I guess you could call them his feet, a couple of rectangles for his legs, and then a bunch of smaller pieces that you can add to his face and his body for all of those little details. The more details you add, the better. Once you've decided on your composition or your placement of things, then it's time to glue everything in place. To begin by gluing the smaller details, the little things that are sitting on top first, and then anchoring the bigger pieces to my base or the bottom of the paper. Once you've got everything glued down, you might wanna let it dry for a couple of minutes before you move on to this next step. Now place a sheet of aluminum foil over your creation and begin to massage the foil until you can see your design show up underneath. You'll wanna make sure to do that with your fingertips only so that your fingernails don't accidentally slice into the foil. I then like to tuck the foil behind my work, that way it doesn't get in the way on this next step. All right, grab those markers because now we're going to color, baby, color. It's important that you're using water-based, otherwise known as, like I call them coloring markers, for this step. You won't want to use permanent markers. Here's why. We're going to be pulling a print. In order to pull a print, we need these markers to be water-based because we'll be using water to pull the print from the plate. When you're finished with a bunch of prints, you could, of course, go back color with permanent markers, but those permanent markers will just stay on the foil, making it a really beautiful work of art. But for this, let's use coloring markers, filling it all the way in. Now as you color, your markers might start to dry on the surface of the foil. Don't worry about it. You could even take a break and come back and keep coloring. Your printing process will still work. Once you have most of the foil colored in, and you can see that as it dries, some of the water pulls away a little bit, it's fine. Grab a piece of paper and a sponge and really dampen the paper. And then lay the damp piece of paper on top of your Coleograph R2. Massage, massage, massage. Pressing really firmly. Don't let the paper wiggle like I just did. And what? Can you believe that? It's amazing. And then look how clean R2 is, which means we get to repeat the process. You could do what's called a pop art style, meaning it's based in popular culture, like R2 is, using a variety of different colors too. You can make as many prints as you like, and then when you're finished, you could always, like I said, color it with permanent markers. Have fun, guys.